feel like this is grease. You have to kick your feet out after you drive by her like ready. <laughs> Don't hit me, ah! One, two, three. <laughs> what the? Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day here in the Loco Sur, and today I am going to be meeting up with Richard Armstrong, and he's going to take me shopping. He's going to buy me all the materials that I need for my wall that I'll be building, or our fence rather, and he's doing that free of charge. Char, no, but I'm going to meet up with Richard right now, and he is going to be gracious enough to show me around and introduce me to the local suppliers that carry all the quality equipment that I'm going to need at the most competitive prices uh, so we can get my fence project started over on the land within the next one to two weeks. So stick around. Let's go shopping with Richard, and let's see what we buy. I wanted to familiarize them with your guys' store. Hello. How are you, ma'am? Good morning. I said, I'm bugging I said, you treat me the best of anyone. Usually, I think it's usually her that I'm talking okay. to. But once you met, text, you can text most of the time. Okay. And they respond right away. Okay. So cool. If you call, they'll know your name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's blue every day. Yeah, but I'll bring him back in when he does his pre order. Yes, sir. And then we'll pre order all his materials. And then I'll probably come at the same time as him and pre order all my materials for my next lot. More pre orders. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I told him if he needs supplies, rebar materials, give you guys at least a two-day notice, three-day notice. Yes, sir. Yes. So, okay. For delivery. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to head up to the place where I get my blue bucket cement mixer and the dirt pile. Or the, the big blue, yeah, the big blue pail drum and the other one. Where do we get that blue board you were talking about? Uh, that's my hardware lady. Okay. So if you need it, you have to pay in advance with her. Got it. Um, and then I'll introduce you to her. On the way back through, we can stop over there because we'll go to that place. I don't think they have a name. Got it. I, I will actually Kubota. Okay. So we'll go to Kubota. That's when you can find them. It's Kubota, Palomari's. We'll stop by my hardware lady. Okay. She's just up the road for a while. And then out of all of your vendors, do they all deliver minus the guy in vegan? Or? Oh, everyone delivers. Oh, everybody. Oh, yeah. Everyone okay, delivers. even the guy in vegan. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, everyone will deliver for you. Oh, yeah, the, you're talking about the market guy. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't deliver. Okay. You'll just have to get a trike or something. Okay, okay. So when you go there, though, I'll go there with you with my trike. And okay. I'll just throw you shit in my trike. Just throw it in. And I'll charge you 150,000 pesos delivery fee. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's a foreigner fee. Yeah, just take it. Take me for all I've got. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, like, just as far as, like, the production line goes, when it comes time for me doing... Uh, everything like how, how far out uh, before day one of, of having a team there should I start like co coordinating all of this like obviously two to three days out with these guys yeah yeah, yeah. but two. then with with uh, Palomari should that be something like you want to get before? that done you want to get no you want to get that done at least two to three days in advance. okay so kind of coordinate for, for everybody yeah to and then, yeah, get a good staging area for all your stuff out there. You're okay. always going to have the same location in your dump. Right. Because over a while, that stuff's going to get worked into the dirt. Right, right, right. So right, your right. sand pile, your gravel pile, make sure you're not putting it to where it's going to be in the way. But you can access it while you build and they're not walking okay. 50 meters away for the sand or the gravel. Okay. So. so, I mean, like with my lot, do you think that I should do it like right smack dab in the middle? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if you're building it elsewhere, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. probably the best location. Okay. It's pretty convenient out there. Okay. So. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, we'll head to Kubota. Kubota. Try not to die. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not dying today. <laughs> so when you need your blue drums for your water, mm -hmm. you need the buckets for carrying the sand and dirt. Okay. And they'll get you some. Got and it. And then the blue drum. You usually have a pretty good selection of equipment back there for Kubotas. Okay. And these are like all the hollow block forms. You see all these. Oh. This is Palomari's. They 
That's what you got. Okay. <laughs> quality sand, quality gravel, quality hollow yeah, blocks. Yeah. So That's what I hear. And we will nice. <laughs> yes, yes. And your uh, your turnaround time upon order is what about two to three hours or two to three days? Yeah. No. Very quickly. Day, yeah. Very quickly. Within the day. Okay. Beautiful. And but so, I could schedule a delivery like yeah, two or three days out yeah, though, right? You can. Okay. Like, I need all the delivery for five days and then you Okay. You guys have got the rock back though, right? Uh, rock? So, yeah, your, your back fill. Oh, uh, yeah, we have you can use it for landscaping. Yeah, for yeah. landscaping. True. Okay. What do you mean when you say crack? They are being. This is this what you guys is, have for your three quarters then? Oh, they're, yeah. they're breaking yeah. something big down into this, the small? Yeah, this one is round, sir, right? Like that. But for the first <laughs> one, like, there are sharp edges. Got it. It's like a crack stone. Okay. And this is better? Uh, no, the crack is better. Oh, the crack yeah. is better. Okay. The crack is really tight. Okay. It's really tight because of the edges. And you have the cracked one too, right? Yeah, we have two. Okay, good, good. Yeah, you want the crack stuff because when you're packing, it's really locking in. Yeah. Okay, and that's for when you're laying, just before you lay a footer. It's concrete, yeah, yeah. for your okay. footers. And this, when you have some of that red dirt, this is good to mix in with that red dirt, the clay, because clay is very expansive. Right. It shrinks when it's dry, it expands when it's wet. So if you can get some of this to mix in with the red dirt, it, you have to make a it really, stronger because if it's yeah. pure red dirt or clay then during rainy season it will be it's just so much expansion and contraction in it so i'll probably order a few loads over the next few days of this and start mixing yes. it in now you, uh, we call it gabor in ilocano yes gabor gabor, gabor. And, and remind me again what gabor is good for you mix it with the red clay dirt for the purpose of of making a stronger backfill yeah. oh got it got it got it got it got it okay yes okay because sometimes it's here there are fine particles. The red dirt is only for like to make yes. it compact. Got it. Compact. Uh, very good convenience to get the bubble levels, the twine, the garden hose. Uh, you know, when you need emergency rebar, so they'll hook you up with the emergency rebar. It's just very low to one stock. Got it. We're sisters have a place in Santa Domingo and in San Vicente. So okay. Very, very close proximity. Oh, nice. Um, a lot of the TPR pipe, um, I'll, I'll get here, a lot of my fuel pipe, and I also get a lot of my super pipe. All of the pipe, TPR, all the gold, so give you a really good price here for your money back guarantee. Nice! <laughs> I love my money back. Um, Guaranteed. A lot of the, <laughs> some of the rain and shine I'll get here. Um, the, is this the, no, okay. Uh, the yeah. masonry putty I get here, actually. Yeah, okay. I still have it. She gives me the best price on the masonry putty. Uh, I guess you have all the tire wire. I get all my tire wire here, all my nails here. Okay. So I get the best price for all my nails. Number two, number three nails. Number two, they use to um, nail the forms to the actual wood. Okay. So if you need some of that foam board, um, just let her know. She, it takes about a week to get the foam board, right? Yeah. Okay. But you'll need to prepay for it. It's 2,500 pesos a piece. Okay. Uh, that's the stuff that I've got. Okay. Um, a lot of your metal, the angle bar, obviously gets for her, but you have to let her know in advance because you the your yeah. sister that delivers it. Okay. Let me know in advance so that we could arrange it. Okay. Blues, I mean, like I said, I think see, I have to use my tissue because I'm not bleeding now. <laughs> <laughs> from her, yeah. I'm still dead. Or, and it works, you are still dead. We got it from her. Mm -hmm. Like I said, paint brushes, tape measures, you name it. She got it. Got it. Well done, I just want to introduce him to you because he's going to be starting his fence next week. Next week? Or, or Besides and, you? Uh, two weeks. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit down the road from me. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's great because when we were building our house, I mean, we we're right there. Right. And then Budok, we're still close enough that if I need tie wire and all that, I'm just right up the road. Okay. So it's a convenience for me a lot of time. Thank you, Glenda. Yeah. Have a good day. Have a good day. Talk to you soon, ma'am. Nice to meet you. See you soon. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? It's Brandon here, and it's a beautiful Sunday morning, and I am over at our land. Well, actually, I'm uh, next door here over at our neighbors because they've been building, and it has been super windy here lately, so I'm kind of using their house to block the sound of the wind, and hopefully you can hear me. I've been meaning to get on camera and vlog lately, but... Uh, like I said, it's been really, really windy here, so it's made it super difficult. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about was uh, 
I think the title of this blog is going to be Experience is the Best Teacher. With this build that we're getting ready to begin, as you all know, we're going to start with our fence, our brick wall fence over here. And having never done this before, it's a pretty scary and nerve wracking situation to be a part of something. And because experience is the best teacher, I'm really, really fortunate that I've got good friends here, good friends that are willing and, and want to help me, want to see me succeed in, uh, in this project. And so, you know, I got to give a big special shout out, not only to the Armstrong family, but to Richard Armstrong directly. Man, I really want to thank you for taking all the time that you have taken to literally hold my hand and show me and tell me and teach me everything that I need to know. Not only, you know, in these planning stages, but also in, you know, in the build days to come over here. Richard has taken his time and you all know that he's got a house that he's building right now and regardless of that Richard has taken the time to introduce me to everybody that he works with over here all of the people that supply him with all the things that he needs uh, to build his house to build his fence and he has personally introduced me to all of them uh, explained to me what kind of uh, supplies and materials are needed uh, who I need to be talking to about that, how it needs to be done. Um, he's explained the process to me. I, I still don't understand uh, half the things that he says, you know, because I haven't been hands-on yet, but that's about to change. And that's where it gets scary for me. But, you know, this is all for a better future. This is all for my family. You know, this build project will be the second best thing that I've ever built. And the first best thing that I've ever built is this family that we have growing inside of Willis Belly. And so this is what it's all for. This is all for the future. This is for our child. And I want to make sure that this is done the right way and the best way possible. And right now, Richard is helping me accomplish that. And that means more than the world to both Willa and myself. So, like I said, Richard's been holding my hand every step of the way. Uh, it seems like every day I just show up to his house where he's building, completely unannounced. Sorry about that, buddy. Just to ask him questions, just to make sure that my next move is the right move. You know, like uh, this past week, I've been just showing up to his house going, okay, Richard, I'm about ready to go to this supplier. I just want to make sure that I'm buying all the right things. Uh, I need to buy this, this, and this, and I need to buy this quantity, and I need to say this, and I need to ask this, and, you know, not once has he ever uh, appeared or reacted like he was annoyed with me, although I wouldn't really blame him if he was, but um, it's been so helpful. So this past week, and we'll show you here, we bought a huge uh, diesel cement mixer. Uh, we pre-ordered all of our rebar, all of our wood products. What else did we get? Uh, we pre-ordered some uh, gravel that we'll be using uh, to mix in with the cement that we ordered as well for our retaining walls. Uh, because, you know, when you don't know how to do something, I've learned that copying other people is the best way. So I'm sure you guys have seen in uh, the earlier stages of Richard's current build, uh, when he built his fence, he did a 100% cement retaining wall. Well, Willa and I, we're going to be doing the same thing because over here uh, on this land, we're so close to the ocean that as soon as you start digging, the holes start filling up with water immediately. So to mitigate any problems with that in the foreseeable future, we're going solid cement. Uh, it's it's going to be less porous than other materials, meaning there's not going to be as many holes, uh, which means it's not going to soak up water, which means it's not going to expand or become brittle and break. And, you know, the fence 
is the first line of defense in protecting this house that we're building. And this house is going to be the roof over our child's head. And so whatever we can do to make sure that the family is safe, that's exactly what we're going to do. That's my responsibility as a father and uh, as a provider. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Some people might say that it's a little too much, but when it comes to your family, I don't think that too much is ever enough. And family is what it's all about. You saw in our last vlog that uh, we installed uh, a pump system for the well that was dug on the day that our cement mixer was delivered. I was supposed to receive a phone call from the supplier, which I never got. Uh, the phone call that I did get was uh, from Richard uh, saying that, hey, buddy, uh, I got a cement mixer of yours over here. And he uh, he was he was kind enough to uh, lead them over to our property and make sure that that got delivered safely. And so, Richard, once again, uh, thanks for that. I literally could not do any of this without you. I'm looking forward to getting this Friends uh, project started over here. Like I said, we have uh, we have picked up all the materials that we need to get started, or almost. We still need to get a couple more small things, and those are the either on their way uh, from online purchases, um, or I'm going to pick those up tomorrow, which is Monday. And as soon as we do that, uh, we are going to put the team together. Uh, we're going to put our crew together of guys that are going to help out. Uh, for any of you uh, men out there that are interested, we're going to have a team of seven plus one. So seven meaning uh, six, uh, six workers, one foreman, and the plus one is going to be me. So you're going to be seeing uh, some footage of me doing construction for the very first time in my life. And I'm really looking forward to learning and getting that hands-on experience because again, experience is the best teacher. And so uh, after this project, I'm going to have a, uh, I'm not gonna say a full understanding of how all this works, but I'm gonna have a better understanding. And so what that's gonna allow me to do is it's gonna allow me to pay it forward. So we have made other friends over here that are going to be uh, living right next door to us and they have not started any of their projects yet but at least this will help me to uh, give them some sort of consultation some sort of advice uh, a little bit of insight uh, the same way that Richard has done for me and you know people helping people that's how we all grow uh, not only personally but physically, and by physically, I mean by these physical builds, you know, we are, uh, we're building families over here. We're building houses over here. And most of all, like I always say, we're building dreams over here. And if you can dream it, you can do it. So like I've asked you before, what's your dream? What are you trying to build? Where are you trying to go in life? We want to know. Let us know in the comments section below. And if you have any questions at all, anything uh, that we can help you with, uh, send us a direct message. Uh, just click on the About uh, tab on our channel and send us a direct message, and I'll be more than happy to answer anything that, uh, that you're thinking about. So until next time, guys, take care. We'll talk to you soon.